Hello everybody, Timothy Bailey with Project Learn and our video for today. Well, it's Friday, so you know what that means, Friday funnies. This is number six, so we've had six videos starting our weekend laughing. Are you ready to laugh? Let's go ahead and start. Hello everybody, Timothy Bailey with Project Learn and our video for today. Well, it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for our Friday funnies, and it is time to laugh. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's the first one, a very standard question and answer. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. So. Again, identifying the words where the humor might be connected. We have Switzerland, right? And you can see Switzerland has a capital S, so this is some sort of a proper noun. Question is, what is Switzerland a name for? Some of you might know Switzerland, the name of a country here between Italy, Germany, France, right? This is Switzerland, okay? So we know what Switzerland is. The other words in the question, we know those, so probably nothing there connected to the humor, so it must be the answer, right? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Well, we have a couple big things here, big plus, flag, so we need to understand what those are. What's a flag? Well, and what's a big plus? Well, here's the flag of Switzerland, right? This is their flag, but what? does it look like? It also looks like a big plus, something we would have in math class, right? So the literal uh, meaning of a big plus is a large addition symbol, two plus two equals four. But that's not funny, right? So it must be something else. And like many of our uh, examples of language humor, the something else is an idiom. The idiom a big plus also means a great thing or something that's a benefit, right? Somehow it's a it's a something good, right? That's a plus. That's a good thing, right? Uh, so here, what the person who answers is saying, right, is the best thing about Switzerland, right? They're not sure, but the flag it's really good. It's a big plus. It's a benefit. It's a great thing, right? Both literally and figuratively. Let's try another one. I invented a new word. Here's the new word, plagiarism. Right, so this one's very simple, not a lot of words here. So we're looking at invented, right? What does invent mean? To create something, right? Someone invented the computer, someone invented the car. And we're looking at a new word. We know what that means, but it's important here. And then, of course, what the new word is, plagiarism. Well, if I go to the dictionary, here's plagiarism. So it doesn't look like it's really a new word that someone invented. Why is that funny? Well, because the definition of plagiarism, the act of using another person's words or ideas without giving credit to that person, right? So the person says they invented the word plagiarism, and it's funny because that is what the word plagiarism means, to take something that is somebody else's and say that you created it. All right, let's try another one. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Another question and answer, because every play has a cast. So here, break a leg, not very uh, useful expression outside of acting. So if you know anyone who's acting, you might hear it or say it. Um, and we tell them when they're about to go on stage and they're about to act. Now the question, what is a play? Right? We know children do that, the verb, right? But here, this is the noun, a play. Well, a play is like this. Some people on stage uh, acting out a story while other people are watching, the audience. <coughs> Excuse me, now this group of people here, 
we call them a cast. So if your child or someone is in um, a play, one of the things at the beginning will be a list of characters, right? And the cast, right, are the people playing those characters. Again, not funny by itself, so there must be something else. And for this one, the something else is related to this word cast and this word break. The whole thing actually break a leg. The other meaning for cast, right? So here's this one, a group of actors in a play. This is the other meaning of a cast. And you or your child might have had one of these. If you break your leg, they put this on your leg, right? So why do we tell actors to break a leg? Because they always have a cast in the play. So this one, cast, a hard material surrounding a broken bone or an injury. All right, another one. What's E.T. short for? Because he's only got little legs. <clears throat> so this one um, sort of hinges on uh, the idea of something being short for something. But let's look first at E.T. What is E.T.? You may not know this. It's an old movie. He's a character. He looks like this. He's an alien, comes to Earth. Now, short for also can mean something else. So there's two meanings. One is why is he short? The other one, notice that it's E period T period. We call this, whenever we see this, an acronym. An acronym is a group of letters where each letter represents a separate word. In this case, E is extra, T is terrestrial, which means an alien. Okay? So that's what it's short for, but the answer here, because he's only got little legs, right? So what is the reason he is short in height? Well, it's because he has such little legs, right? So the acronym understanding of ET and the reason why the actual uh, character is short. All right, one last one before we go. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One is really heavy and the other is a little lighter. So again, what are the things we're talking about? So a hippo, this, per, this animal at the zoo, right? One of my favorite animals, they're often in the water. And then a zippo, which is this thing here. So what is the difference between the two? Well, one is really heavy. Right? And that's the hippo. <clears throat> so this is the quality of the noun, the quality of the hippo. Right? Notice we have the adjective, heavy. Right? Tells us about the hippo. The other one, the other is a little lighter. Right? Here, this is not telling us about the quality like this one. It could, but in this context, it's not. This one is telling us what the actual thing is. It is a zippo, a lighter something that lights things, such as cigarettes or a fire, right? That is what the thing is. So here, we are using two words that can be uh, qualifiers, adjectives, telling us about a noun. And we're using one actually as the noun and one as the adjective. I hope this was interesting and funny. Uh, tell these jokes to someone you know. See if they laugh. Either way, I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you and have a good day.